Mr. Charles tomorrow before you go to treatment, make sure you come by the office tonight and get your bus passes. Don't forget, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll come and find him. Yeah, I know that. I know that. <laughs> My new life is, like I said, it's being able to deal with life on its term, to uh, to be able to 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 uh, speak to people, to go to the store. And, and uh, sometimes somebody has to go with me or I'll get lost. I don't know where I'm at. After being homeless almost all his life and now suffering from dementia, Charles Joyner lives at McCreesh Place Apartments, a supportive housing community's apartment for formerly homeless men. His goal is to remain sober after being an alcoholic for 25 years. I've worked in restaurants, I've been a cab driver, I've been a lumber mill worker, I've been a fry cook. I've spent most of my, my young life in foster homes because of abuse in my family. Alcoholism is no fun. It's a disease that will kill you. So, um, anyway, I'm thankful today that I'm not in that uh, state in my life anymore. I'm, I'm really happy about that. I'm, I'm uh, not the same Charles now. Not, not, not no way, no how. I'm outgoing personality, a sense of humor. I love to laugh. I love to bring a grin to, to someone else's mood. Supportive Housing Communities has a 98% success rate, keeping people like Charles and other formerly homeless men, women, and families in housing. It works largely because of staffers like Anita. She's always there for me. She's always there for me. Always. Residents pay 30% of their income if they have income. Can I got some can? But the supportive housing community's model literally saves taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars in emergency services. Often homeless people utilize the emergency room or call 911 for medic to come so that they could be in a safe place for the evening and get a meal for the night. When we received his application, they stated that he would go at least two to three times a week. Charles has not gone to the emergency room once since he moved to McCreesh Place. Best thing about it, well, it gives me hope in my day-to-day -day life, uh, as far as uh, joy and uh, my hope tomorrow for better things. Charlatans have a big heart, and it shows when you look around a place like this and you see what's happening, and you see the transformed lives. I love McCreesh Place. There's some wonderful people in here. You understand the human character, and their knowledge is impeccable. I believe in my heart when it comes to loving people, caring about people, taking care of people, taking care of the situations, no matter what the situation might be. They're very, very wonderful, very wonderful people indeed. Love is the key word. Love, that, that's the key here.